All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants, doing a free agent film breakdown on the Giants offense alignment, John Runyon Jr. from the Packers. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We're going to have breakdowns for all these players. Uh, Brian Burns is out. Uh, you know, Jermaine Elamuino is going to be next. But with John Runyon, he's a solid pass protector. He's been top 10 the last few years since he became a starter in pass blocking efficiency for guards. Uh, he, he knows how to use his hands. He knows how to use different pass sets. Now he does struggle when he's facing the you know the better defensive tackles in the NFL, uh, and that shows in his contract of three years, thirty million dollars, compared to the other guard contracts. In the run game, it's it's kind of a struggle bus, and we'll go through it. Um, but hey, there's some good pass protecting film that he's got out there. So let's get into it. Make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. First play versus the Chiefs versus uh, Chris Jones. Line up here at right guard. These aggressive pass sets. I like that he switches it up with these. So, pass pro is not passive. We want to bring the punch to him. Disrupt disrupt Chris Jones's hands. So you set to him, don't give him space, don't give him time to punt, you know, to time up your punch. Disrupt his hands. Right? Disrupt his hands, then reland your hands and keep with your feet. This is a good rep against someone like Chris Jones. Disrupt that. That's the only way to stop Chris Jones. Any other way, you're getting beat. Which he does get beat later, which we'll talk about. Then here versus the Giants. Play action versus Nacho. Get aggressive. We get off the ball. We bring the punch. We're bringing that punch. We're stunning. We're stopping any momentum. Hands are a little high. We bring him back down low. He's got good hand, you know, hand usage and replacement. Lock on, good anchor, right? He's trying to get, uh, you know, rip. We're there. We got a good anchor, good recovery. Bam. Next play versus Jaha Ward. All right, we see all this mess. We got John running here. Don't let an edge guy moving inside get space. Our feet are good. Watch. One, two. Wide. We throw that two-handed punch. Get under his chin. Don't let him attack your hands, though. Reload your hands. Be patient. Attack. Okay, bam. We're here. We're going. Wherever you're going, we're going. And then you're just, you know, we're going to go through some plays where he's got good hand usage and replacement. Here versus DJ Davidson, you see the hands are constantly reworking, not giving these pass rushers anything to work with. So we get off aggressive, we start the punch, right? We pull the left hand, we put the left hand back. He's got inside, he's got inside your chest plate, rework that right hand, rework the left hand, get hand placement. Good anchor, good stuff. Here versus Nacho again. We're not aggressive on this one, right? We're changing up our pass set. He gets leverage. He's trying to work some speed to power. Right? Wash the feet. Stay calm. He gets inside your chest. Okay. Rework these hands. All right? See both hands. Get back inside. Now he doesn't have the hand fight. Next play versus Jahab Ward. See how quick it is. We give that initial punch. Bam. And then quickly reposition them. We stun his, his momentum, his rush. Replace your hands. Put him inside. Reps over. You're controlling it now. You're controlling it. You've stopped his momentum. You you've you know take get, gotten his hands out of your chest. Good stuff. Here versus the Chargers. Our hands come wide. See that right hand. Replace. Put it down low. Get it on his number. Good feet. Able to stop him from getting, you know, any 
type of pass rush move on you. Here versus the two eye. All right, 51 gets some push on this. We place our hands, right? We throw that punch. You want to stun him, then replace, right? Don't let him time up the punch for one. And then when you do get hands on him, don't let him work any pass rush moves. Don't let him chop at your hands, cl club, rip. Replace them. He wants to get inside your, sh your shoulder pads. Left hand on, right hand free. Solid anchor. Nice throw by Jordan Love. Gives up a sack on this play, but it's really long developing. Like, I don't even, they might have not even accredited him for a sack because it's so long developing. I know we got to get out there. We want to. Good job with the hands, right? But just want to keep your feet. When he's at this point, keep your feet sliding. Right. When you get those hands back on, he works that rip move. You want to keep your feet moving better so you can keep your feet moving better. Get your one hand high, one hand low on the hip, and then wash it around. But again, a very long developing sack. Here he gets beat inside versus, uh, I, I, get, I forget this guy's name from 45. Quick player. I think he's a rookie. Right, we set towards it. This 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 type of stuff usually doesn't happen to him, especially when it's, you know, an edge moving inside or a linebacker blitzing. He usually does a pretty good job of staying in front of that, but does doesn't do it on this one. Pass rusher times up his punch. Able to rip through. Gets beat. And then when he's just facing the better guys like Chris Jones, and this showed up against Quinton Williams, Dexter Lawrence, he just simply gets beat right we're setting aggressively versus chris jones right like we talked about in that first play well this time we're not able to disrupt the hands of chris jones he times up that punch he swipes those hands moves laterally bam you get beat next play versus chris jones Just Runyon has good hands. Chris Jones has them better hands and has the this, this strength and athletic advantage. All right, gets inside. You know, Chris Jones gets inside him, gets inside his chest. He's controlling him at this point. Runyon should work to chop or break these hands off, but at this point, it's too late. And Chris Jones is going to chase Jordan Love for a run. Um, and then, uh, the stunt stuff, right? He's good. He's good. He's good at this, you know, in the games that I watched, no, no issues with that. All right. We're sliding for ward. He works inside. We pass it off. Simple. Next play. Good job. IDing it. Good job. Not over committing. We want to keep our center aligned with his center, right? So he works inside. We bring the feet down. Bat, 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 bat. Pass it off. Good stuff. Next one. This one's more on Josh Myers. Good, good help. But idea, right? You set for it. You see his eyes working this way. You see this out of your peripherals. Get back. Good stunt pickup. Now, in the run game, this is where the struggles show up, man. And there's just not really good run reps that show up on film. It's, it's, it's mostly bad. Right? He doesn't have great strength. So, which means you got to be a little overzealous, head heavy. You want to get some movement. Like, the feet are good, right? One, two, three. Right, we're, we're, we're picking our feet up, bat, 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 quick patter, but just loses this strength battle, right? Works the swim move, gets dropped on his face. 
Good job bouncing back up trying to help. Here again versus the Chargers. Same thing. And first, I, I don't like the footwork on this. Right? You're running counter. Right? You just want to seal this off. We're getting way too aggressive on this. This foot is... You're, he's essentially doing a bucket step on this for someone that's lined up right here. When you are just trying to basically wall this off, this step needs to be up more. Right? We... We, gotta, we can work at an angle, but that's got to be at a 45 degree angle this way to give yourself good body positioning. Even though he, you know, he's not, he's jump, he's, this defensive lineman is working to jump the gap off the snap. You got to be better about that. You got to have a better landmark. Instead, you get across his face, you got your momentum working, he swims and puts you on the, on your face. Here versus Chris Jones. I mean, pretty simple. It's not the footwork. It's just he loses the strength battle. Right? Chris Jones just bigger, stronger. Maybe not bigger, but stronger. Actually, I think Chris Jones might be bigger. And then here on like these drive blocks. Like this is a normal rep for him. And it's okay, but it's not good, right? We're working this these these base block. We don't get off the snap that fast. We're not really getting any movement. We're not able to control the block. Essentially, the defensive line is reading. He's going where he wants. Right? And able to rip through. Just not getting the desired block that you're looking for. And even when he's getting help, right? Like, he's getting help on this. Another counter run for the Packers. You're getting this help from this hammer from the tackle, right? Good job. Good job. Now swing your hips and keep your helmet on this side of him. Keep your ha your helmet pla your hat placement on this side. And it's just easy for this D lineman that even though you get this great help from your tackle, he's just not able to sustain this block. And this defensive lineman is playing games with him, right? Good job by Aaron Jones to see this hole and cut it back up. But the D-lineman sees it. Okay. I can get in there and, and try and help make a tackle. You know, it's basically the same thing on this one. All right? You get good help from your tackle. He gets he gets that helmet. He gets him where you want him to be. Right? Now, drive through this right foot. Get some torque. And it's just not able to sustain it. Right? And this D-lineman is playing games with him. We read the back. He goes this way. We're here making the tackle. Like, that just shouldn't happen. So, uh, in conclusion, like a school paper, pr pretty solid pass blocker, right? When he goes up against the best competition, you're not going to see great performances from him. But that, again, three years, $30 million, not you know handing out the big guard contracts that they've been gotten. And the run game, a lot to be desired. You know, he's battling with some injuries, you know, played through a rotation with Sean Ryan at the end of the year. But uh, good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Jermaine uh, Alamun Alamunor will be out next later today. Devin Singletary will try and get that one out this evening. Check it out. Tell a friend. Appreciate you guys. Let's go big blue.